Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sock Snob. Sock Snob! Coming to you with yet another video on travel style and culture. And this particular one deals with the art of smelling good. So a few tips and tricks. I'm gonna show you how to layer scents so that we enhance them and then possibly even define your own signature scent. Who knows? All right, so it should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway, that a good smelling man starts with a shower or a bath. So hygiene cannot be overlooked. You cannot throw on some cologne and think you are doing it, all right? So a good choice I would suggest is Neutrogena Rain Bath is an excellent choice. It has some spicy notes to it um, that go great as a base layer. Another option would be Pecksniff's uh, Sandalwood and Vanilla. So anything with these woody notes make great base layers for men uh, as far as building up to your signature scent. Next, if you do not take showers, then, and you prefer a bath, or you know, everybody needs a bath every now and then, then use uh, a nice uh, bath powder. In this particular case, this is from the Scottish Fine Soaps Company, and it almost has like an Egyptian cotton scent. But again, great base layer for men. After that, you would think we'd go to lotion next after all the showering and uh, bathing, but it's actually the deodorant next, so don't overlook. Um, the power of a good deodorant. So the best choice would be to get uh, a set. When you purchase your cologne, purchase it in sets. And if it comes with a uh, deodorant, by all means get that because that'll help you build or enhance that scent that you're gonna be putting up, right? If you don't get the deodorant with the set that you're purchasing, you know, just find a great smelling deodorant but remember that it's going to add to the next layer of scents that you put on. So don't make the mistake of getting something that's going to conflict with whatever cologne you're going to be wearing that day. All right, so now we get into lotion. And I have here, this is Pecksniff's Hand and Body Lotion, and again, in sandalwood and vanilla, so that we can continue to enhance that scent. And then throughout the day, as you wash your hands, I still use Peck Sniff's hand wash, and that way you sort of refresh the scent again each time you wash your hands. So uh, we didn't I have not talked yet about shaving. So once you shave, it's a good idea to use aftershave lotion. So what I would suggest is again buying sets of colognes that include an aftershave lotion. So this particular one is Coach Leatherwear, and very interesting scent, um, has some pink pepper notes in it. But in either case, the Coach Leatherwear I purchased with the aftershave lotion. And again, it's going to just further enhance that scent uh, throughout the day, right? Now, another thing I just cannot live without and got, got so many responses the last time I talked about it in my DOP kit. Um, video, but this is Woods of Windsor. Um, this is talcum powder for men. Love, 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 love this, and it has a nice woody scent to it as well. Perfect for controlling, you know, perspirate, perspiration, and so on. But also, another thing I do if I want to control the shine on my head, because I'm bald, if you have not noticed, then what I'll do is I will add some to a barber's brush and do a light dusting and it takes away that shine, all right? But hey, some days you want a shiny head, but not always. All right, from there, let's get into the actual cologne. So, and I'm not pushing any particular brand of cologne. In fact, my favorite cologne isn't even up here, right? So, um, just a couple of examples. So. Pour Home from, uh, you know, the regular Dolce Gabbana Pour Home is, um, has a very powdery scent. So the notes are more powdery-like. So great for mild scent. Here is Ferragamo. Um, I like this scent year-round, so it does not, I've been using it a lot more 
in uh, spring and summer this year, but I like it actually year round. Um, Polo, Ralph Lauren, when he did the Big Pony collection, came in four cents. And a trick I learned and love it to death from a friend is that you can mix the scents and come up with a very unique smell. So, um, so I'll do the red with the orange or the blue with the green and it works out well. But otherwise, they're here uh, and they're numbered one, two, three, and four. Now, speaking of um, that big pony, it's always a good idea also to get the smaller version of that so you can refresh your scent throughout the day. And basically, you can have something that fits in a pocket or that you can carry with you throughout the day so that, you know, hours later, when, it, when you feel like it's just time to refresh that scent, you can. Okay? Another thing, if you travel a lot like I do, then you are always conscious of cologne sizes, right? So I typically buy um, more, especially if there's a set that comes with the large size, travel size or smaller size, I'm always looking for colognes that are under three ounces so that I can, you know, take those with me in my dock kit or in my toiletry bag, okay? So that will take care of you. Now, let's talk about where to apply the cologne and how much to apply. So, depending on the type of cologne it is, then it's going to have more or less um, strength to it, right? So, for instance, with this Versace Afresh, that is probably the weakest notes you can get in cologne. Not that it's a mild scent, it'll still stick with you all day, but just keep that in mind. So you're probably gonna need at least four sprays, all right? If it is a stronger cologne, for instance, that Coach Leatherwear we were talking about, well, that particular one, then it is a little bit stronger so you don't have to apply as much. So this is what I do. I always apply two pulse points, right? So here, here, a lot of people think here, but I don't do that because if you do it here, then people will only smell this when they are close to you. And that is actually the same zone as this. But on the other hand, I will do here and here. All right. So if it is a light scent, I'm going to go here. That's my dog barking and there. And then again here. And if it's strong, I'll go the other side, but if it's a, uh, excuse me, if it's weak, I'll spray on the other side. If it's not, and it's a stronger scent, I'll simply rub some of the scent from this side to that side. And the final thing I'm going to share with you is, uh, or actually two things maybe, just two tips. When you are purchasing your scents at a department store, it is a good idea to ask for samples. Ask for samples. Hey, you're already spending your money. And then that way, they are a good opportunity for you to, you know, extend that scent throughout the day because you can use the samples to touch up or you can travel with these when you don't, um, you know, uh, bring anything smaller, you know. And just keep in mind that only works, of course, if you're purchasing in a department store. If you are purchasing scents online, unless they just happen to throw them in there, you won't get it. And then finally, you know, you get these colognes and sets, and they come in these great, very sturdy boxes. So what I do is I use them to store things. So in this case, I'll throw in my gloves so that you know, I have a safe head because otherwise you can scarcely find them throughout the non-cold seasons if you don't. So, like I said, use these for storage and then you're good. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will be more than happy. Hey, as a matter of fact, if you have questions, that's where this video came from. So someone had a question about men's fragrances, so I figured I would answer it. But otherwise, like and subscribe and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And then also take this journey with me. So I'm going to show you how I've lost over 100 pounds. If you see this smaller me, people always wonder how I'm able to go uh, and travel all around the world so much and all of that. And I like to take you with me, of course. So uh, just check me out, subscribe, and stay posted.
Thanks a lot. Have a great day.